Chris. On tonight's episode, Alyssa sat down with a friend to share her side of what went wrong in her marriage. Let's take a look at that. You know, it was a very small resort, and if he wanted to talk to me, he, you know, could have very well found me. Yeah. Can you tell him not to come over here right now? Do you want to talk to him? No, I do not want to talk to him. I hate him. So you have nothing more to say to him? No. Are you feeling like you're okay with your decision? I mean, it wasn't my decision. He just, like, didn't want any part of it. I, I mean, I wish I could have met him just to, to get my own impression. Because, you know, there's been some times when I'm like, oh, you know, you're being a little too hard on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> well then, so Chris, what is it like seeing that conversation on tonight's episode, and how does it make you feel? <clears throat> um, it's true that I've never met her. Uh, she knows nothing about me. Mm -hmm. She's only heard Alyssa's side. And still went, I don't know, maybe he that's Could what, it be you? That's exactly what I had picked up on. Her effort was in an effort to look like she was trying, not actually trying. And to not look like a bad person. Katina, from what she shared with you versus what you're seeing, are they in alignment with each other? I can't make an excuse and say, yeah, you know, Alyssa put every effort in to hang out with you because I know that that's not the case. Um, I think that, that she was, genuinely yeah. believes that she did try, and I think that it will just take her, like, seeing some of these moments. That was my next question, is do you feel that by her seeing this, maybe she'll kind of see it from a different perspective? Yes, I do. You, you say no? No. Uh, it, like, to be, I want, like, I want to be as, as crystal clear about this as I can be. I, I totally agree that, that she gave 100%, but it was to get through the experience But not to as get to friends. know you mm -hmm. and yeah, not to not be married. To be, and, that's why, and that's where I think the disconnect mm -hmm. is. She'll think that she tried very, very hard, but it'll be at the wrong thing. So were you shocked with her response to when you said, I want a divorce? Not really. It's the option that I thought was going to happen was right. that um, she's mad that I didn't play along for the next two months, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what upset her. So Chris, would you ever sign up to get married at first sight again? I don't know that I would marry somebody at first sight again, but I don't regret having done it. Okay. All the stuff that I had to do mm -hmm. to answer questions for the experts to then match me taught me more about myself, and that makes me feel like whoever I'm in a relationship with next is going to get the best version of me that, that's ever existed. Oh, I feel like we should be, like, snapping or something. <laughs> that was so sentimental. Um, like, for real. Yeah.